some awesome overnight rain on the homestead last night. But that makes for a soggy homestead in the morning. They don't like the soggy hay too much. So I was just turning the nesting boxes around and the the red star hen came running right up in the tractor and she had this desperate look in her eye. So I was like, oh, she's, she's gonna lay an egg. So I quickly, you know, I got it all arranged and put back in there for her and I step, I step back and grabbed the camera and I started filming. I saw her vent just like start to open and then it started like pulsating. <laughs> so I held the camera excitedly thinking there's an egg about to come. That went on for about three minutes. Then she sat down and I couldn't see anything anymore because her feathers were in the way. So I, I turned the camera off and I thought, well, I'll give it another minute. And then as soon as she started to stand up, I, gra I grabbed the camera, I hit the record button, and then the egg was just already out in the nesting box. So I didn't get the really cool shot I was hoping for of the egg coming out. That would have been neat. Um, but we did get an egg. Still warm. Don't you be going into my garden now. I'm watching you. I can definitely feel it today. You know that first real chill indicating the change of the season? I feel that this morning. It's that first chill like today that reminds us that though summer on the calendar will be a few more weeks, it is rapidly drawing to a close. Soon we'll be ushering in harvest season. Pumpkins, hay rides, apple cider. It really is such a great time of year. Though I also think about how harvest season isn't so good for these guys. The date has been set, November 2nd. I called a guy who runs a mobile slaughter unit and he'll be coming out here and doing the slaughter and starting the processing here on the homestead and then the carcasses will be brought back to his shop for the final butchering. It's so important for me, especially at this scale, the homestead scale, just four sheep, that they don't leave the property. It's really important to me that it's all done here. That makes it a much less stressful circumstance for the sheep. And my philosophy with raising them is that they have the best life I can possibly give them to give them the best food I can give them, to give them security, safety, and general happiness while they're here, really up until the last minute. Shipping them off on a trailer to a processing facility, that's not the way that I want them to go. Well, it looks like the rain has returned. My camera's getting all wet, so let's go inside for a little bit, dry off. The rain has subsided finally and we actually have an interesting development regarding the egg production situation. We got three eggs total today, one this morning and then two this afternoon. But we have five hens, why aren't we getting five eggs a day? Or at least four, right? We're doing a lot of work. 
you have a possible explanation. I have a possible explanation. Yesterday, I was checking on the chickens, just making sure that they had enough food and water. And on the ground in the tractor, I found this little guy. As you can see, he's a lot smaller than the one on the right. The one on the right is a normal-sized egg. Yes, this is a normal-sized egg. We assume that the yolk in this one is disproportionately small as well. So I called our chicken breeder, John Shepard, and I just asked him, you know, what do you think? And he said that this little egg probably is from a hen who is about to start laying regularly. So It was one of the hens we got from my dad that yes. we thought was already laying. Yes, we thought was already laying. It's probably not. But wasn't. That's why we only have two or three eggs a day is one of them just isn't very old yet. And we're hoping that within about a week this this hen, the hen who laid this little tiny cream colored egg, will be laying big brown eggs for us to eat. I suppose another possible explanation is that we had a feral quail, a random quail, <laughs> come into our tractor and lay an egg. We think that this is just a tiny little egg that's a precursor we should to crack it a open. lot more of these. I don't think we should. No, it's our mascot. We're not going to crack it open. This is our mascot. Little. Crack mascot. it open and no, see no, what's no, in no. there. No. It's so little and cute. We there gotta... might be like a like a, a ring or something in there, like this a diamond ring. Right, or... like a, the Fabergé egg. You want to keep it or crack it open? Crack it open. You want to crack it open? Why? Why did you change because your mind? Because I want to see the little yolk. <laughs> What'd you do tonight? No!